Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Arun and in today's video, we are going to discuss SAP Cloud ALM, which is also called SAP Calm. This is the agenda. Please stick to the end of the video to know how you can learn more about the Cloud ALM for free. So firstly, introduction. When SAP released Cloud ALM, people asked, is it just a solution manager that is hosted in the cloud? The answer is no. As the name implies, Cloud ALM is a cloud application that was built by SAP from scratch and it is hosted on the SAP Business Technology Platform. So it is not a solution manager that is hosted on the cloud and just called as Cloud ALM. And before we get into the details about CALM or Cloud ALM, let's take a quick look at what is application lifecycle management. ALM software consists of tools and processes that help to manage the lifecycle of a software product from product design up until the end of its life. The life cycle of a software product consists of different phases like requirements gathering, building, testing, deploying and operating. So ALM software provides us with tools that can help us manage all these different phases of a software product. In other words, it can be called the software that is used to manage the development and operation of other software. SAP Solution Manager was the famous ALM tool that was offered by SAP to its customers. It is free of cost and has got a whole lot of functionalities like application operations, business process operations, you can manage and monitor the integrations, data volume management, test management, project management, IT service management and so much more. But the problem with Solution Manager was it became very complex to configure these functionalities and also maintain them on an ongoing basis. It was an on-premise application, so it requires resources to install, configure and maintain it, which in turn costs money for the customers. Customers were actually asking SAP for a long time to create a cloud-based ALM tool that can replace Solution Manager. Finally, SAP has done exactly that. As I mentioned before, SAP Cloud ALM is a cloud application, so the application is installed and maintained by SAP from a technical perspective and that right away makes it attractive to the customers as they don't have to spend money installing and maintaining it. SAP has also promised that it has made Cloud ALM simple to configure and easy to use. So let us assume it is not as complex as Solution Manager to configure and make things work, which makes it even more attractive for the customers to make use of Cloud ALM. So does that mean Cloud ALM is the future? And the answer is yes. In the recently held SAP ALM Summit, SAP confirmed that the Solution Manager will be supported only until 2027, which means it will concentrate its effort on developing Cloud ALM going forward. I have made a video about Solution Manager as well. The link to that video is in the description below. So please check it out if you are interested to learn more about Solution Manager. Now let's take a look at SAP CALM's functionalities. Its functionalities are divided mainly into two categories, which are Cloud ALM for implementation and Cloud ALM for operations. Just like any waterfall software development model, you design, build, test and deploy the software. And after deployment, during the business as usual phase, you might come across some issues. So detect those issues, analyze the root cause, resolve the issue and then automate the solution so that whenever the same issue happens again, it can be resolved without any human intervention. What you see on the screen is the process view for uh, Cloud ALM for implementation. So the steps are design, build, test and deploy. In the design phase, you design the functionalities in the SAP system as per business requirements, conduct fit to standard workshops to convert the business requirements into standard SAP processes. Once the design is complete, you start configuring the software as per the design, then test the configurations and finally deploy and go live with the product or solution. These are the different types of technical functionalities that are covered under the Cloud ALM for the implementation process. The one that have small asterisk means those functionalities are planned to be available at a later date. The second category is called uh, Cloud ALM for operations and this is the process view. As I mentioned before, once the product is live, you need to monitor that for any issues, identify those issues, then diagnose the root cause of why it occurs, resolve the issue and then automate it. These are the technical functionalities that make the Cloud ALM for operations possible. 
it has got different types of monitoring functionalities um, which you can use to monitor end-to-end -end business processes you can monitor integration between multiple SAP and non-SAP applications you can monitor the performance of systems incident management etc and then supported solutions so what are the solutions that are supported by SAP Cloud ALM SAP Cloud ALM was created with cloud applications in mind but it has got some functionalities that are available for on-premise as for HANA system as well. SAP has provided a website that lists the different types of solutions that are supported by Cloud ALM. So you can filter either based on the SAP application or based on Cloud ALM functionality. I have provided the link to this website in the video description. Demo systems. SAP offers a free Cloud ALM demo system that anyone can access. You do not require an yes user ID in order to access the Cloud ALM demo system. As you can see on the screen, SAP has provided some predefined roles with usernames and passwords. You can use any of these to access the relative content in the demo system. For example, if I am a project manager, I can log in as Paul to see the functionalities related to project management that is offered by Cloud ALM. I have provided the link to this demo page in the description below. How to request a Cloud ALM system? For this, you will need an yes user ID with administrative access. Because the Cloud ALM is a cloud application, it should be linked to a customer account. So if you want to request a Cloud ALM tenant to be provisioned for your particular customer or organization that you work for, then you must create the request using your organization's yes user ID. You just go to the Cloud ALM page in the SAP support portal then there is this request button. SAP says it only takes 15 minutes for a Cloud ALM tenant to be provisioned for you, which is a great news. I have provided this link in the description as well. Now the most important thing, how can you learn more about the Cloud ALM? Comparatively, Cloud ALM is still a new product. So SAP is still developing learning content for it. But in saying that there is already a good amount of learning resources available for Cloud ALM, SAP Cloud ALM Support Portal is your one-stop shop if you want to learn more about this product. I will walk you through the things that are available on this page. The first thing you will notice on this page is these three buttons. Discover, Try and Request. The Discover button will provide you with a PDF document with high-level information about Cloud ALM. The Try button will take you to the Cloud ALM demo page with the username and password. Then you can uh, request a Cloud ALM for your organization with the Request button. Then there is a couple of presentation available. One is an overview which can be downloaded using this link. And the other one is a value presentation which can be downloaded using this particular link. Going further below, you will see some customer success stories. And then the link that provides you with the list of supported solutions that we talked about previously. Going further down, you will see three YouTube videos that describe how you can use Cloud ALM for implementation, operations and service. Below that, there are links that provide more information on how to configure these functionalities in Cloud ALM. And then we get a Roadmap Explorer that provides information on upcoming functionalities in the future. Then we got links to the Cloud ALM community page, information about services available for Cloud ALM from SAP, links to some videos, events, and a newsletter. And finally, we got an administrative guide that you can use to configure different types of functionalities in Cloud ALM and then the link to the SAP help portal and some frequently asked questions. I have provided the link to this portal in the video description as well. I just wanted to let you know I have also written a blog about Cloud ALM. Please check that out if you are interested to read things. And uh, that's it for today. So if you like this video, please share it with your friends who might also benefit from it. Thank you once again and see you soon in another video.